Morning everyone, Michael and Brenda here welcoming you again to Travel Malta. Well, where are we? Pretty much on the tip of Malta. We've passed Maliha, we're heading to the Victoria Bar for lunch at Aramir Bay, but we thought we would drive the extra couple of minutes to show you the chapel here, which is right on the edge of the cliff. And there was a statue of the Madonna right on the end here. And I did hear that they did remove it for some restoration work. And I'm hoping it does come back because it's not here now, okay? Now, this is an area, guys, that is not easy to get to unless you have a car because a Bolt or an Uber is going to be quite expensive and also uh, a bus I don't think will get you here. It is also an area you need to have extreme caution if you've got young children. The statue used to be here on this concrete slab. Brenda is here taking photos. Now, you need to have extreme caution here holding kids' hands because these are fragile cliff edges and they are not fenced so this is a problematic area for children do not come here if you've got children basically there is a very very large full ferry called the hornblower heading out i'm gonna i'm scared of heights i'm gonna get as close as i dare and show you the bottom here have a look at it it is gorgeous man look at that nope no nope, i don't want you anywhere near that edge Bren, because i'm really nervous so please come this way hey it's so clear it's beautiful, getting a bit of waves from the boats. There are boats streaming, streaming to the Blue Lagoon. Um, and we are at the most, pretty much, northern tip of, um, of uh, Malta, Meliha region. And it's glorious because over here, you've got all the bays. We've passed Paradise Bay to get here. There is Aramir, Little Aramir and White Tower Bay. There are three roads just leading off this road that we've come off. And you just turn left and go to the bay you want. Uh, on the way here, once we passed Imjar, of course, we passed signs to Janaina Bay, Golden Bay, and Ain Tofiha Bay. Okay. Uh, we love this area. We love it up north. Um, we could have just as easily uh, ended up here. There are some fish farms here. In the distance, I can see Adira Bay. Uh, I can see St. Paul's. I can see the whole thing. I can see the sanctuary up there at Adira, at Maliha, I'm sorry, the big church. It's just a beautiful part of Malta. If I look to the left, right around the coast, there's St. Paul's. I can see St. Paul's Island directly ahead of me. And I can see St. Paul himself, the statue. And if I even look beyond that, you can see the outline of St. Julian's. I can see the big Mercury Tower and the Portomasso Hilton behind it. It's a beautiful part of Malta here, but again, I'm going to emphasize again, guys, you need the utmost care here with young children because it is a hazardous area everywhere, everywhere here. It is totally, totally unfenced and it's relatively unstable. All I can see below are rocks and boulders which have fallen... Um, in fact, I will go as far as saying that I wouldn't even come here with young children. I wouldn't even come here. I wouldn't even take the risk. Okay, um, there you have it. Now, as I said, there are boats streaming this way. Uh, what a glorious morning. There are various plaques and things etched into the rocks. Now, for those of you who haven't been here, and we rocked up here with the only ones here, but now a, a van load of people have rocked up and they're just leaving. For those of you who have never been here, how does a chapel like this end up on this cliff edge um, out here in the middle of pretty much nowhere well the story I heard was uh, that there was a fisherman who lived in the parts here somewhere who went out one day and was caught in a extremely severe grigal or storm and his boat was pretty much destroyed around him and he prayed to the Virgin Mary and uh, prayed really hard that he get saved and vowed that he would build a chapel and that's apparently the story of what happened and he did survive it and the Virgin Mary saved him or uh, divine intervention saved him and he came here and he built this chapel have a look at it it's glorious um, I'm not going to try and pronounce a name because I'll probably get it wrong uh, I'll go and see if there's any signage beautiful place look at this 
as I said, boats are just streaming around here to the to the Camino, to the Crystal Lagoon and the Blue Lagoon. I'm quite happy to find it relatively clean here. I've seen a couple of cans, but it's good that tourists don't come and just rubbish the place like they do in so many parts and also around Europe. Now is the chapel open? Sorry, it's open, Brenda. Brenda just told me the chapel is open. Uh, how am I going for time here? Look at this, guys. Beautiful. You can sit here and say a prayer. You can light a candle. You can make a donation. Look at the holy water. So this is the chapel, chapel of the Immaculate Conception at Ashra Meliha. Ahra. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway. That was the statue that was here, guys. But as I said, I heard it's been uh, taken for some much needed restoration. Okay. Now we are at the edge of Malta, the northernmost point. As I said to you, it's going to be really, really hard to get here without a car. Uh, there's no crowds here. There's no. There's nothing. <laughs> as I said, we rocked up with the only car here. This is not a place you're going to swim. It's a place you come by. Um, say your prayer whatever worship and then move on to wherever you're heading which is what we are doing all right and we're going to head um we only just decided this we're going to head to uh Armir or little Armir, wherever the, the victoria bar is we love that place they make some wicked wicked uh platters just got to decide which one that's going to be my hardest decision of the day all right guys we'll see you shortly we're going to do a driving video as we approach there <laughs> 